Well, welcome back. I'm actually on my other creek, not Pilchuck Creek, and I've dug a trench out to the main channel there, kind of empty some of the water. I was using my electric pump to drain this, but unfortunately, there's too much water flow. So, got to dig in the water, and I'm trying to slough this off, make it a little bit bigger, so when I get my dredge in here, I'm able to uh, sit comfortably in the water and go down deep. But yeah, you can kind of see, you know, again, my trench that I dug there. So what I'm doing now is basically taking these, this little bank right around in here. You can kind of see it's kind of sloughed off there. But I'm trying to remove that, widen this hole basically from up here, around down in here. You can kind of see another little dark boulder has been down there a long time. Nice and nice and round. So it's a pretty smooth process. I like the gold grabber. This thing can take up to about two and a half inch rock, but sometimes you get stuff that's basically right down inside. So you can kind of see that screen down up in there. That's that's where all that material goes through. Classifies that out. But I've only been at it probably maybe a half hour or so but again you get you know nice quartz rock like that no pyrite on it but a little piece of quartz and better off there and uh, quite a few garnets still coming up and again I'm not down deep four and a half feet I'm just kind of skimming the surface so probably more than likely this is going to be a considered flood gold whether all of it is or not. Again, nice round rock. So it's flowing pretty good today, and I've never tried any test pans out in that area, but uh, there's not too many big, large boulders in this creek like Pilchuck. So it's just a matter of digging down deep and finding that gray layer that looks looks pretty promising, you know, from the other videos. But uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.